Hey everyone, I'm going to show you, and you have to listen very carefully, on how these mortgage companies or pretender lenders are foreclosing on everyone. Basically, fraud. Okay, here is a foreclosure notice of, of, of a list pendants, how it normally starts. Here is the date it started. Okay, now what you need to watch and look in your public records is the actual assignment of mortgage now they filed it February 12th but did an assignment of transfer of mortgage April 16 2009 recorded it six months after on April 19th are you with me Okay, you can't have an omelet if the chicken hasn't laid the egg yet. Now, here is where the fraud starts, thanks to this guy in Florida. He's one of the foreclosure mills, probably one of the first or second top in Florida. Here it goes, okay. Do you see this company? MERS. Mortgage Electronic Registration Systems. It's a computer, basically, with their information in it. Do you see this lady's name? Signing as Vice President of MERS. Okay. Do you see where the attorney drew up the document in Florida? Do you see where MERS is located? Florida. Now, do you see where IndyMac is located? In California. Look at where it's been executed and notarized. In Texas, right? Okay. Now, do you see this name as Vice President of MERS? A separate entity. Here is another assignment of mortgage that was done on my property. Thank you to this man here, David J. Stern. Now, this woman, Erica Johnson Sec. Remember, she works and is a vice president of MERS. Now, she's an attorney of fact for IndyMac. Now, shouldn't there be a little conflict of interest there? And this time, she made an assignment November 12, 2009. But I thought she did it April 16, 2009. So, they never had any grounds or standing to file this. Right? Okay. Now, if you do a record search, you'll see this woman is on a roll, right? She's like signing assignment of mortgages for Deutsche Bank, uh, Indy Mac, okay? I did, and it took me several hours, a search, and I actually found the limited power of attorney from the FDIC to One West Bank. Right? March 19, 2009, IndyMac Bank turned into One West Bank. It was closed. The government had shut it down previous year, 2008. Okay? You still with me? Now, this is an affidavit giving them power of attorney. Which draws me to these three people. Now, this is a whole entire list, and that's giving them attorney in fact. That's the entire list. Do you see the first name? Okay. I'll come back to part two.